Miss Tammy. I'm here to read another story to you today, and this story is one that we have been studying on our Bible adventure, the story of Abraham and how he shows his faith in God. So um, I hope that you've been doing your Bible adventures and you've been filling out your adventure books with your family and learning your memory verse. It's so important to get the Word of God in our hearts. Uh, I would love to see some videos of you guys practicing those at home. So I'm going to practice with you now before we read our story. So get ready. Psalm 3114. I trust in you, Lord. I say, you are my God, you are my God, you are my God. Good job. How great that is to know that we can trust in the Lord and that he is our God. That makes me feel so good. That's what I hold on to. Even in these weeks of being at home and not being able to come to church and be with you guys. Because I love you so much. But I trust that God is in control and that he has this. So let's read a story about Abraham and learn how he had to trust God too. This is called Son of Laughter. That's Abraham standing on a hill. Look at this. All the stars in the night sky. Let's see. So years had passed and things didn't get any better. People were still just as cruel and mean to one another. They still got sick and died. God's world was still full of tears. It was never meant to be like this. But God was getting ready to do something about it. He was going to make all the wrong things right. And he was going to do it through a family. Abraham, God said, how many stars are there? God was about to tell his friend a wonderful secret. Let me see, Abraham said, pulling up his sleeves. Have you ever tried to count the stars in the sky? Well, if you have, you know how hard it is. Abraham says 993, 994, 997. Uh oh, no, wait. One, two. Of course, he kept losing count. Too many, he said. Too many stars to count. Guess what? God laughed. I will give you so many children and grandchildren and great grandchildren that you won't be able to count them either. Abraham couldn't help giggling at such a wonderful idea. But he stopped himself. How could he have a family? He didn't have any children, let alone grandchildren. He wiped away a tear. Anyway, it was far too late for him to start having babies at his age. He was 99 years old. What did God mean? Abraham, God said, believe me. And then God told Abraham his secret rescue plan. Abraham, I will make your family very big, God promised, until one day your family will come to number more than even all the stars in the sky. Abraham looked up at the dark night sky thick with stars. You will be my special family, my people, and through you, everyone on earth will be blessed. Wow. It was an incredible promise. God was going to rescue the world through Abraham's family. One of his great, great, great grandchildren would be the child, the promised one, the rescuer, our Jesus. 
But it's too wonderful, Abraham said. How can it be true? Is anything too good to be true, God asked. Is anything too wonderful for me? So Abraham trusted what God said more than what his eyes could see, and he believed. That's where he showed his faith in God. And now, when Abraham's wife, Sarah, heard God's promise, she just laughed to herself. But it wasn't a happy laugh. It had tears in it. She'd always wanted a baby. Could her dream come true? Could she really have a baby when she was 90 years old? No, of course not. Don't be silly. It was too late. Sarah didn't believe God could do what he promised. She had forgotten that when God says something, it's as good as done. Of course it was as easy for God to give her a baby son as it was for him to make all the stars in the sky. Sure enough, nine months later, just as God had promised, Sarah gave birth to a baby boy. They named him Isaac, which means son of laughter. And Sarah laughed. But this time, it was a glorious, happy laugh. Her dream had come true. God would do as he promised. He would always look after Abraham's family, his special people. And one day, God would send another baby, a baby promised to a girl who didn't even have a husband. But this baby would bring laughter to the whole world. This baby would be everyone's dream come true. And that's all for today, boys and girls. I'll see you soon. I love you.